what's now considered the superposition principle for non-homogeneous second order equations. Let's suppose we have this differential equation, ay double prime plus by prime plus c equal to f1 of t, and we know its solution is y1 of t. Let's also suppose we have ay double prime plus by prime plus c equal to f2 of t with solution y2 of t. So the left-hand side of these equations are the same, it's just this function over here that's different. Then I have that k1y1 of t plus k2y2 of t is a solution of ay double prime plus by prime plus c equal to k1f1 of t plus k2f2 of t. This allows me to start looking at things where my solution, my f of this is going to allow me to start looking at things where my f of t, this equation here on the right, the function on the right, is a sum. Before we could talk about particular types of functions and their products, and now this allows us to do the sums. Let's consider this differential equation, y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y equal to 3t. In a previous video, I had found the particular solution for this. It was 3 halves t minus 9 over 4. We can also find the complementary solution for this. When you do, you get c1 e to the minus 2t plus c2 e to the minus t. And then our general solution we wrote before as the complementary plus the particular. And the reason we could do this was by the superposition principle. We have that y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y. I can rewrite the right-hand side as 0 plus 3t. So the solution to 3t plus the solution to y this equal to 0. And so this is what allows me to refer to my general solution as the sum of these. Let's consider this differential equation y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y equal to 3t, which, like I said, we have already found the solution for, and we got 3 halves t minus 4 ninths. We can also consider y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y equal to 10 e to the 3t, also in the one we have solved in a previous video, and we got yp equal to 1 half e to the 3t. Now I want to find the solution to this y double prime plus 3y prime plus 2y equal to 6t plus 5e to the 3t. Well, in order to find this solution, I'm going to look at these pieces. Here I have a 6t, and that's going to be most like 3t. In fact, it's 2 times that. So I'm going to do 2 times the solution there. 3 halves minus 4 ninths, or 3 halves t minus 4 ninths. The other piece of this, 5e to the 3t, is going to be like the 10e to the 3t. It's 1 half 10e to the 3t, so I'm going to do 1 half times the solution there. And then we could simplify this. This is 3t minus 8 ninths plus 1 fourth e to the 3t. And we have our particular solution to this differential equation. Let's look at this one. I have y double prime plus 2y prime plus 2y equal to 3 cosine 2t plus e to the minus t sine t. And I want to find a particular solution to this. And let's start with the complementary. I need to solve r squared plus 2r plus 2 equal to 0. And if we do this, we get that r is equal to negative 1 plus or minus i. So alpha is minus 1 and beta is 1. This gives that my complementary solution is e to the minus t times c1 cosine t plus c2 sine t. So now my particular solution, my first piece here is a cosine 2t. In order to get a solution for that, I would need a cosine 2t plus b sine 2t. So that that solution corresponds to the first piece of my f of t. I also have this e to the minus t sine t. 
So down at the bottom, we'll need an e to the minus t for the e to the minus t. And for sine t, I'll need c cosine t plus d sine t. And that's going to correspond to the e to the t sine t almost. We'll notice that it is not linearly independent from my complementary solution, so I need to include a t term here as well. And so now I have the particular solution of this differential equation.